Hi everybody, I'm Brian, this is the Apple Bias, and today Apple released iOS 14.5 and watchOS 7.5. What does that mean? Well that means that not only do we have some new Siri voices, but mainly, if you have the Apple Watch, you can now unlock your iPhone with a mask on. Yes! Something that has been a pain in our sides for the last year and a couple months wearing masks, we can now wear a mask and unlock our phone. Crazy! It's so crazy! I have been using this feature ever since the first beta came out and it has been amazing. I go to the grocery, I go to church, I go to all these places and I have to have a mask on and anytime I want to look at my phone, look at a notification, I have to put in that pin code. It has made me long for Touch ID Day. I even switched to an iPhone SE for a little while, went back to that Touch ID, and I loved it, which was, oh, I mean, this was back before the iPhone 12 came out, but I don't like Touch ID overall. Like, I love Face ID. Face ID is amazing, and now you can unlock your phone with your watch with a mask on. How's it work? So first off, if you haven't already downloaded, go into the settings, go into general, software update, and go ahead and get updated. If you've already updated your watch and your phone, then all you have to do is go into the settings app, scroll till you get to the face ID and passcode, put in your passcode, then scroll a little bit more until you see the unlock with Apple Watch. Should see a little toggle right there. Tap it, and now you can unlock your phone with a mask on. Now before we go any further, let's talk about what it's actually doing. What it's doing is now, rather than looking at your face, it is still looking at your face, but it's just looking to see if your face is covered by a mask. If your face is covered by a mask, then it looks to see how close your Apple Watch is. As long as your Apple Watch is, is within like an average arm length, it will unlock. When it does unlock, it's going to send a notification to your watch that gives you the option to then lock your phone. Why do they do this? Well, they do this just in case somebody gets a hold of your phone and unlocks it. You can now relock it, and once you lock it, it cannot be unlocked until the passcode has been entered. So Apple made sure to make this feature as secure as possible because they realize that it's opening up things just a tad bit more to have the ease of use of being able to unlock your phone with a mask on because that's just the world we live in still. Hopefully by this time next year we're not going to have to worry about it anymore but who knows. Apple's just giving it to us while they can because they couldn't get Touch ID under the screen or somewhere else as of right now. You know, if you have a lot of data that you really want to keep safe, maybe you don't want to use this. Me personally, I do use super long passwords. I use one password to manage everything. Like I, I feel like I'm a pretty secure person. I never use the same password twice, but this feature is there for me. Like I'm okay taking this risk because I know there's workarounds to make sure I can lock it if somebody does get a hold of it. I even tested it with my son. I put a mask on him, handed him the phone within arm's reach. He was able to unlock it and get access to it. He's done it a couple times here and there throughout the whole beta process. I've gotten the notification and if I really needed to, I could have locked it back but he does have to be fairly close to me, so normally I know he already has my phone anyway. I highly recommend this feature. It is life changing for when you're wearing a mask. It is so good not to always have to put that passcode in. You have no clue how much that drove me insane. I'm sure you actually do because it's probably been driving you insane too. It's great. Thank you, Apple. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, everybody on the Apple team. This is such an amazing feature, and just thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all for this one. If you like this content, please hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, I can take it. No worries there. I will see you guys in the next one. God bless.